Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It's the 1st of February and of course it's time for Shutterbug AU, my make on. So let's get started. January saw some really interesting projects kicked off, some really amigurumi, shawls, blankets, squares, you name it. There's such a variety and it was so great to see and I thank everybody for taking part and posting their pictures. Currently we have around 20 doing the make-along. Um, a bit down on last year, but that's the way it goes. And some of them don't want to take part in the participant prize draw, which is fine, that's up to them. So at the end of this video will be a, um, a participant prize draw video on one lucky person to win a $25 voucher for participating in January. If the voucher doesn't suit you, I'm sure we can work something out. So make sure you watch the video to the end to check out the winner, the lucky person, and congratulate them. My project for the make along, well, this is the head of the shutterbug. I was a little concerned it was quite big till some of the people making it along with me. The heads are pretty big too. This could be a big bug. So that was sort of like week one and then week two because I decided to do the head in one color these were my colors and that's the start of his body so that's like a, a glittery green with some rose pink I'm also to doing squares wherever I put those won't be a moment so I'm doing the crisscross squares out of my blog book and I thank everyone for giving me tips about join as you go and I actually took off the tip of our crochet for cancer group a slip stitch join and I've done two together I quite like it there you go I didn't want a huge border between them so this is working out well so that was week one and that was week two this beigey color yarn also has I don't know if you can see it in this light a pink tinge to it so then my two join as I go squares. I'm going to need a lot more squares as I go along. Um, so yeah, that was January, 1st of February, the photo. Well, this is a special photo because it has a great memory and I cherish the memory and I often think about it when I hear this type of music or something comes up. So years ago, I went on a trip, a cruise to the Baltic by myself. Thing couldn't get time off work, but he met me later in Southampton when the cruise ship docked. I really wanted to go. I was retired and he said, go, enjoy it, take a break. So off I went. On this cruise, I met a most amazing Australian couple that I hooked up with and made friends with. We're still friends. I caught up with them when I went on my Melbourne trip. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. On this trip, we went to Russia and I went to St. Petersburg. They went to Moscow. I had a great time in St. Petersburg. Now, when I went, everything was controlled. They only let you see what they wanted you to see. And I did tours. So one of the tours I went on was our saviour. It was a church, our saviour of the spill blood church in St. Petersburg. It's an active church and a museum. It was erected in 1880 something, you can check that out, by the Romanov family in recognition of Alexander II who was assassinated on the site. That's why it's called the Spill Blood Church. So I did the tour with the group and we came out and it's a great location and people were taking photos we had time and I must have been sort of stood away from the group when this young guy came up to me and in very broken English obviously wanted me to take a photo and I'm thinking yeah no problem you often get asked that when you're on holiday and I thought he was going to go over to his wife except he didn't he joined a group of people dressed in folk costumes so I took the photo and next thing all these cameras kept coming out of this group for more photos and when I finished he came over he said something in broken English but and he was lovely obviously he was thanking me but my tour guide said you have to stand there 
they're going to sing a thank you song to you. They're a folk singing group, I think he said from Estonia. Their costumes look like they were from Estonia. Anyway, they broke out into the most uplifting, happy song and it was beautiful. And I was really touched that they were singing it at me. And then when it, I started to look around, we had a mass, this great crowd to listen to them. And there's me front and center being sung to. It's such a great memory. And they were such lovely people. Because often you'll get asked to take a photo. And most people will say, would you like us to take one of you? Some people just grab their camera and walk off. But anyway, it was. I just always remember it. And I wanted to share this photo with you. It has some great colours in it. So I'll just log into my laptop and hopefully it won't jump around. Now, sorry about the lighting. It's very late in the day and it's very overcast. We've had a lot of rain, very little clear sunlight, but humidity is at 90%. So it's still pretty warm. Anyway, hopefully this won't glare in this lighting, but remember there will be a photo or copy of it at the end for you to see. There you go. Oh, now I've got a menu up. That's, now, this might be better. Can you see that? Let's hopefully, if I tilt it a bit more, you can see. So, when you look at the photo at the end, there's a little young gentleman in the front in black, and he's the one that asked me to take the photo. So there are pinks, like a cerise pink, navy blue, a beige, a soft pink, a brownie gray, and a rust. Make sure you check this photo out at the end. It is quite hard to do it in this lighting. I wish I had natural light. But this is the most special memory I have of my cruise to the Baltic besides meeting my friends that have stayed friends for years it's just amazing and the thing about the friends I met in Melbourne she was knitting so we used to go up to the top deck when it was knitting hour and we would knit and I would crochet she was knitting a blanket I was crocheting a baby blanket and he would go off her hubby and find somewhere where he could listen to the cricket because he's mad about cricket. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the make along. Remember, if you're new to the channel, you can hop in and join anytime you want. Your project is entirely up to you. There is a prize draw, participant prize draw every month, and there are two photos a month. If you want to be in the major draw at the end, you must do at least four photos or four months for the major prize draw. But you can hop in and out whenever you are. If life gets too busy for you or you're on holidays or whatever, then don't stress over doing it. And remember, when you're checking out the colors, near enough is good enough. It doesn't have to be an exact match because I'd like you to shop your stash before you spend your cash. Thanks to Laura at Mad Mimi's. Remember, it's supposed to be fun, light-hearted, inspirational, and we're enjoying in each other's yarny company via the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and let's hope my bug doesn't end up being a giant shutter bug. Bye for now. Welcome to Shutterbug AU's January Participant Prize Draw. There are 18 names on the wheel and one lucky participant will take home a $25 gift voucher. Good luck everyone, let's do the draw. Karen Wright. Karen, you have won yourself a $25 gift voucher. Email me and let me know what you would like. Email is in the description below, but I'm sure you have it on file. Congratulations. Awesome projects, everyone. And let's hope next month we get a few more to take part that want to go on the wheel. Well done, and I'll see you on the 15th. Bye for now.